I'm starting with a fresh Blazor server app here that I just created and I'm going to be demonstrating using um, a service to make global variables that I can use across my Blazor application and I'm just going to do a simple demo. So the first thing that I do is create a uh, folder and call it services. And then I create a class within that folder. And I call it app state. And I got this name from various posts on the internet. I think Chris Sainty did one. Um, and I got some, some info from him and so that's why I use that name. And but obviously any name will do. That makes sense to you. And then within this um, class, I can create properties. And I'm just going to create one for my demo. And it's going to be a string. And I will call it my message. Oops. There we go. Stringy message. That's interesting. Now I see what I did wrong. There we go. My message. Okay. The next thing is to um, go to my startup menu and I need to add a service. Um, for this app state. So and it's prompting me with an error, so I need to add the using statement. my for my class okay there and finally I want to as far as the setup goes I want to go into my import star razor and add a using statement here for my services folder and that just gives my pages access to it so that's the basic setup. Now I'm going to show how it works by going into my Razor pages and um, creating the, putting a, a value in the variable and then jumping from screen to screen and showing how it stays in state. And it can be accessed from any, any page. So I'm just going to use just the standard main page here. And I'm going to uh, create a input field and I'm going to use bind value just because it's easiest for a demo. Whoops. And I just realized, forgot to do something, which is at the top of each razor page that's using that's using the app state, I need to, to inject that. And I'll call it, oops. There we go. And why am I getting a nasty message there? Oh, it's probably because I didn't save when I added it, when I added it to imports. I didn't save. So there we go. Now for my bind value, I'm going to go app state 
and message my message and there we go and then I want to that's where I'll enter my value and it will get bound right to that variable and then for viewing the value I'm going to go into another page I guess I'll pick this counter page and I'll just use the standard format here and a razor page to go let's see my message and I will just do the at up oh, once again I need to put since I'm using the app state on this page I need to inject it I'll call it app state there we go and my message at app state dot my message so it should appear here okay let's try it out all right so we'll put a value in here and we'll jump over to counter and there it is there's my message Okay, so that's how you do it, and obviously you can you can do other uh, types of variables, you know, um, integers, etc. Uh, I just use a string just for demo purposes, and you can change them in your code, and uh, it's it's really cool. I I created an app recently, and I made good use of these. Thank you.